Hello, so this is for day 239 of Bible in one year and the Bible text, Psalms chapters 120-122 and then 1 Corinthians chapter 9. So again, I'm trying to catch up with the backlog. So since this is recorded the same day as the previous one, um, we're going to skip uh, the prayers that already prayed earlier and then um, we're going to focus on Bible reading, right? So Psalms 120. In my dis uh, sorry, in my distress I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of Jennifer. Woe is me that I sojourn in Mesa, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hated thee. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Psalms 121 I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy food to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall, ne shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even for evermore. And even for evermore. Psalms 122 I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, and to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. <clears throat> Alright, we're now going to read First Corinthians chapter 9. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are not ye my work in the Lord? If I be not an apostle unto others, yet doubtless I am to you. For the seal of mine apostleship are ye in the Lord. My answer to them that do examine me is this. Have we not power to eat and to drink? Have we not power to lead about a sister, a wife, as well as other apostles, and as the brethren of the Lord and Sabbath? Or I only and Barnabas have not the power for, to forbear working, who go at a warfare any time at his own charges, who planted a vineyard and eateth not of the fruit thereof, or who feedeth a flock and eateth not of the milk of the flock? The flock, say I these things as a man, or saith not the law the same also? For it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle them out of the ox that treadeth out, out the corn, that God take care for oxen? For saith he it altogether for our sake. For our sakes no doubt this is written, that he that bloweth should blow in hope, and that, and that he that rusheth in hope should be partaker of this hope. If we have sown unto you spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? If others be partakers of this power over you, are not we rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Christ. Do ye not know that they which minister about holy things live of the things of the temple, and they which wait at the altar are partakers to the altar? Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. But I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things, that it should be so done unto me. For it were better for me to die, than that any man should make my glorifying boy void. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity it laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me, if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward, but if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. What is my reward then? Verily that, when I preach the gospel, 
I may make the gospel of Christ without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And as to the Jews, I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews, to them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without the law, as without the law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I might gain them which that are without law. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive at the price? So run, that ye may obtain, and every man that thriveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself shall be a castaway. Alright, we're done with the Bible reading. So again, this is for day 239 of Bible in One Year, and we've read Psalms chapters 120, 232, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Thank you, and God bless.